Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So today we have the third beta of Android 15, which brings few changes and new features. And in this video, we'll talk about every change and that new feature, what Android 15 beta 3 brings on the table. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Pixel 7a, which I've already updated to the latest build. First of all, let me show you the software information. If I go to about section, you can see device name is 7a under Android version. Android version, now it says Android 15 with beta 1 and beta 2, it used to say vanilla ice cream. But now we have the number of Android 15. This latest build comes with 5th June 2024 security patch and the build number is .022. I received an OTA update, the update size was somewhere around 600 MB. And now before starting with the changes and features, if you guys are new to this channel and if you think our content is useful for you guys, then make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. So the first change, what you'll see soon you install this latest build and that's layer to this Android 15 logo. You can see side by side comparison how it used to look before on beta 2 with that of beta 3. So this is one minor tweak what they have done and the second change what they have done that's led to wallpaper and style section. So here they have revamped the UI so for example if you change any wallpaper let's select this wallpaper and you can see now we have the complete new UI for the wallpaper and lock screen. Towards the bottom side we have an info page which gives you information about this wallpaper and there's also an option to edit the wallpaper. You have the ability to zoom in and zoom out and also you can change the position of the wallpaper as per your requirement and soon you tap on this set wallpaper you get a new pop-up which lets you choose where you want to apply this wallpaper by default lock screen and home screen are selected for example if you want to apply this wallpaper only on the lock screen you can disable it from home screen and set a wallpaper so this is one change what you'll see under wallpapers and style section also one change we notice after installing this latest update and that's under storage so let me open up the storage tab and if you scroll down, now you can see it says Android 15. Previously, it used to say Android 14 on beta 1 and beta 2. And after that, another change is layer 2 to animation. So I personally felt the animations are a lot improved on this build. And also there's a new popping out animation whenever you unlock your device. So for example, if I unlock the device, here you'll see that popping out animation. Soon you get to see the home screen. Here you can see that in slow motion. And another UI change you'll notice whenever you take a screenshot, now the animation and the UI have been changed. So here you can see if I take a screenshot, this is how the new UI looks and the animation is also improved a lot. Along with that, you can see now you have a pill towards the bottom side, which is also beneath the screenshot preview before things used to overlap, which you can see in the screen recording, which we did before updating the device. Now pill appears from the bottom side. Previously, the animation was from the left side. And the next change is with the volume panel. So let me tap here on these three dots. So here, if you guys remember, previously we had a drop down for the media volume but now that has been removed you'll only see that drop down if you play any music by default it has been removed which you can see here and you can also compare with the screenshot which we took before updating in the launcher you won't see much changes but one new add-on they have done and that's under app list settings so now you can see there's a new toggle called show long app names so first of all with this disabled you can see this is how the application names looks you can take example of prime video in which entire text is not seen so soon i enable this option you can see now we have a second line which shows the full name after that under settings if you go to navigation mode now they have also added this option of disabling circle to search feature which wasn't present previously we had no option to disable it but now google have added this feature using which you can disable circle to search feature so this is how it works if it is enabled you just have to tap on this pill and once it is disabled you won't get to see the circle to search feature in action after that another add-on is layered to screen saver so if you go to display settings screen saver now you have a new tab of home controls so if you have selected this this is how it looks whenever you put your device on charger or on dock i did test out but it did not work for me i'm not sure whether it's a bug or not particularly on my unit it is not working currently on beta 3 and now let's take a look at some changes what they have done in the settings page first of all if you go to sounds and vibration now we have got back that older feature if you guys remember on previous build we had this option wherein device automatically used to adjust the vibration based on the environmental condition and we also had this nice preview but that has been removed now and it's no longer to be seen on beta 3. after that some minor changes under privacy now device and app notification has a new name called notification read reply and control which was previously device and app notification and at last under display i'm not sure whether this thing was previously available under display settings because as far as i remember this thing was added under wallpapers and style section so here we had that option of color contrast which i feel on beta 1 it was under accessibility later it was been added to wallpaper and style section 
I'm exactly not sure whether it was available in the display settings but now under display settings also you can find this color contrast option. So guys these are only the changes what you'll see on Android 15 beta 3. If you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.